A few weeks ago, I put a marble shooting video together with a smoothbore. So I had to paint the other side of it because there's still the white from the marble left in that steel. <laughs> but I want to see, starting with 40 grains of Swiss powder, if I could get a round ball to punch right through that. If that don't work, we're going to jack it up a little higher and higher and higher till we see what it takes to smack it and put a hole right through it. I can't wait to try this. This ought to be cool. is strongly recommended. We're going to use some toys on here that I very seldom use on this channel. One thing is a measurable charge. And we're going to put this one at 40 grains. I don't know if you can read that or not. We're going to put Swiss 3F powder down in that rascal. Yep, clear the top. Pour it right down in the old barrel. Pillow ticking patch. See it's still wet. And I poured some four nano balls for today. Which makes it awful hard to start. That's why we use a thing called a ball starter. Put the sprue up here on the ball on the top and use that to uh, get it started down in the barrel. And this end of it go down so far and go use this fancy big old long rod to send it the rest of the way home but since this is the first shot it goes down pretty easy no problem at all so we're going to prime it right here on the line with some shoots in 4f because i like that that stuff's lightning fast and we're going to see what it's going to take to hopefully smack that thing and put a hole through it will 40 grains do it a 3f swiss Trigger is set. Whoa, look at that baby swing. <laughs> 40 grains, put a good size dent in it. Didn't punch all the way through. Let's see if 50 will get all the way through it. 50 grains of Swiss 3F. Oh, God. <laughs> Knocked the clear off the wires oh no i hit on the side Arr. let's hang it back up there and uh try 60 grain this time see what we can do to it if i can hit it in the middle <laughs> that helps doesn't it <laughs> oh baby look at it dance <laughs> Oh, dance, baby. Let me take it down. Show it to you. Look at this. It almost went clear through it. I can just about see a back side there. It's got a dent in it. I bet 70 grains will punch right through this old steel. Look how it's bowed, too. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to try 70 in it. I bet 70 will punch right through this thing. Let's do it. It'll take much to move that up to 70. 70 grains of Swiss 3F. Ball starter, which I seldom use. Oh. It's all the way down. Boy, it's pretty easy to do when you're not using rim rods. This thing will spoil you, I tell you. Make a good billy club, too. Maybe a driver for the golf course? I don't know. Oh, knocked it off again. <laughs> I don't fit one all the way through it or not. Let's go check it out and see. I'll oh, check this out, my friends. Oh, can't really bend over there. There is the round ball. And then just like this. Now that's pretty cool. I love it. I'll take it out. I could just about look through that camera and see you guys. It's got a hole that's bent back a little bit, not clean through like a donut hole. So we're gonna put 80 grains in this time and see if we can punch it all the way through. And I'm gonna pour this rascal again and shoot it another day. 
there. <laughs> lost track of where I was at. The only way I can really tell is remember what the measurement was before. And it's sitting on 70, so we're going to move it up to 80 this time. Good way of keeping track, isn't it? 80 grains of Swiss 3F. Forgetful of my old days, my friends. 80 grains of 3F Swiss. Definitely ought to be enough to take out a... Uh, a deer or some other big critter somewhere. Man, that's a lot of powder. Woo! All right. Another pill ticking patch. Sprue straight up. Ball started. Send it home with this big, massive golf club looking thing I got. And we're priming for 80 grains, and I bet this will punch it all the way through. Four shots and no misses so far. That is sweet for me. Yes! Let's punch it all the way through this time. Yeah. Oh, I can see a hole in it. <laughs> I don't know if it went through it, but I don't know if it, I don't know. Let's go check it out. Look at that, my friend. Score! It went all the way through. I can see you in the hole there. <laughs> Woo, baby. All the way through. Let's go with 90. That's as high as I'm going to go with this gun. I know it'll handle more than that, but I don't see any sense of shooting them any higher granulations than that. Just wasting powder. So 90 it is. Two right down in there. Another piece of pillow ticking. Sprue straight up. Whack it with the old bar starter. Both ways. And send it home with this big monster range rod. Batteries are almost dead. I gotta get a move on this shot. I may not get to show it to you. 90 grains. Purposely try to shoot that one low to see if it <laughs> Just got that last shot off before that camera quit. Look how dark that screen is. You got to charge your batteries up, Mark, before you come down here once in a while. So I'm down to one working camera and two of the three batteries are dead. Oh, I'm glad to end this one quick. Let's go up and check out the target, though. <laughs> Look at that hole there. Believe it or not, it's still got a little bit of the lead still in it. Ain't that cool? It went right through it. Can you see you? Make a good peephole, wouldn't it? <laughs> but yes, muzzle loaders can go through steel if you're using lead balls, not using marbles. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And remember, Jesus does love you. And we'll catch you on the next adventure. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll go probably shoot it a few more times. You know, I'll just leave this camera running. I'll show you a few more shots. I'll put it behind me so we can see if it gets hit.